In this video, we'll be covering some free plugins you'll want to install with most of your WordPress websites. You can see we already have several installed here. I did that just to kind of shorten up the video, but I'll show you how to add one real quick. What you'll want to do is click on plugins right here, and then click on this add new button. And this is all linked up to the main WordPress website, so you can kind of pull down the plugins from that server and install them on your own site. The one we'll be doing here is WordPress Database Backup, and you just want to type in the plugin name to search for it. Click Search Plugins, and then Install. And that's just asking if you do want to install it, so click OK, and then click Activate. And now what you'll want to do is just go through that same process for each one of these plugins. A little bit later in this video I'll break down how to set each one up and what each one does. But for now just go ahead and install them just like we did for the WordPress database backup. Akismet comes installed so make sure that's active. You want to get contact form 7, Google XML sitemaps, Platinum SEO pack, tweet, like, Google plus one and share, WordPress database backup obviously and then the WP Super Cache. And once you have all those installed, just make sure you have them all active. And then we'll go through and set up each plugin. So most of them are going to come over here in the settings menu. You can see the tweet like plus one is right here. We'll set that one up real quick. And what this does is it just adds these little icons to all your pages and blog posts. Now there's a couple different ways you can install this. You can have it have the large icons or you can have it do the smaller ones. If you like the smaller ones, click right here and then click Save Changes. So you can see we have the smaller icons here. I like these a lot better. I just think it cleans up the website a bit. I usually leave it with all four of these options. If you want to add LinkedIn or custom buttons, you also have the ability to do that as well. Now the WP Super Cache is really important. What this does is it just helps your website load a lot faster. So you want to make sure you have the caching on under this option. Click update status. That's all we need to do there. Now your XML sitemap, what that is, is it helps Google index all of the pages. So you just want to come back here, make sure it's active, and then you can build the sitemap for the first time just by clicking there. That one's all done. Now what this Platinum SEO plugin does is it takes care of a lot of the on-page SEO factors for you. I typically just leave it set up as it is, but you can see some of the options back here and as you get more into the SEO game you can kind of learn to tweak that a little bit, but for now it's just fine how it is. And then the other thing you want to do is go to Tools and then Backup. Now this is that WordPress database plugin we just installed, and this is extremely important because if you do lose your site at least you'll have a database backup and typically what I do is just schedule backups once weekly so come down to the scheduled backup section just click once weekly type in your email and click schedule backup and then what that's gonna do is just email you the database file once per week and so you will have an updated version including all the changes and posts you've added which is good to have again just in case you do lose the website and then the last one is Akismet and you just go over to plugins drop down to Akismet configuration right here you will need to register an API key with WordPress. Now what this does is it just keeps a lot of the spam comments and kind of cleans up your site a bit. Make sure you type in that API key, click auto delete spam submitted on posts more than a month old, and then click update options. And as far as the free plugins go, that's pretty much it. Nice and simple, not a whole lot to set up.